All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. So today, we're gonna give you the three most common needs of bowling footwork. All right, guys, so there is a lot of misconceptions of bowling footwork. So there is a lot of sayings that what's, what's bad, what's wrong, or if there is like a, a specific way that everyone should do it. So today we're gonna break down all the three myths of bowling footwork. All right guys, so the first myth is that quicker footwork is better. So that's not necessarily true. So yeah, by having a quicker footwork may lead to maybe throw it a little bit faster, maybe throw, having more revs. The game of bowling, the most important part is to be able to do one thing all over and over again. Yeah, there is some pro bowlers that may have a quick footwork and make it work, but that not necessarily is true for everybody. So the main part about footwork is consistency. So you want to find the right amount of speed that's good for you. So you don't want it to feel like, like you're rushing, like you're running on the approach, but also you don't want to be that you're too slow. So you want to kind of find that middle spot that's going to be consistent for you. All right, guys, so the second myth is that drift is bad. In reality, if you have a good approach, drift is going to be normal. You see a lot of players, a lot of pro bowlers that do drift and it's not a problem. The problem is when that drift is inconsistent. So if one shot do, you do eight boards and the next shot you do three boards, that's when you're gonna see a difference and that's gonna, where it's gonna affect your game overall. So if you're having an inconsistent drift, one thing to look at is by simply knowing where you're sliding. Sometimes we get too much into bowling that we are not even noticing how many boards we're drifting. Once you detect how many boards are you, are you drifting in difference, maybe you are sliding a little bit more to the right or a little bit more to the left, that can help you to focus on having that inconsistent drift, either by sliding or maybe you gotta look up from somewhere else into your approach in order to fix it. Another problem with drifting is sometimes you may see your ball not reacting the same way from shot to shot and you may lead you that you think the lanes are the ones that are changing but in reality it's you the one that are sliding in different spots causing you to have different ball motion. Alright guys, so the third myth is that every approach should look the same. So in reality there is no like a one like textbook approach that everyone should follow. Everyone's approach is gonna be slightly different, it's gonna be, some, some people is gonna be very different, but if the key is that do something that works for you. The principles of the approach are gonna stay the same, but it's gonna be different for every bowler. So not because someone does it a certain way means that you are doing it wrong. If you see the other person having success with certain approach and it looks different to you, that doesn't mean that you're doing it wrong. So if you look at these pros bowling side by side, you're gonna notice that their approach is different. But that doesn't mean that one is more successful of, for, of the other just because of their approach. Everyone can find their own success, but the principles, again, is gonna stay the same. All right, guys, so there you go. Those are the three most common myths of bowling footwork. Please let us know in the comments what do you think. What other meets do you know? Please like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next video.